Ready or not, school is about to be back in session. Students in our state's biggest districts head back to the classroom tomorrow, and it seems that everyone we talk to is pretty excited about it. I'm we feeling great. I'm ready for school. Oh. Yeah, same over here. I feel like it's going to be a good school year. How about for you? Mom? I'm absolutely ready. <laughs> My favorite part about school so far is just getting to meet people there because I know lots of people at my new school um, since we just switched. Tomorrow is going to be like a holiday, getting the kids all back in school and having a normal day. I mean, to all the parents out there, yes, yes, it's awesome. And one of the districts heading back is St. Paul. A new year always brings a new opportunity. Joining us this afternoon is St. Paul Central High School principal Sharice Ayers. Um, and we have a teacher as well, Stephanie McCleary. So thank you both for joining us on the four, the first day of the four, yeah, our thanks. inaugural guests. Thanks for having us. <laughs> it is yeah. a school night, you two. So I don't know. I remember those back to school jitters as a kid or even last night before starting this show. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get the back to school jitters too? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Teachers are nervous. Do we have everything ready? Yep. This year, I think we're like that parent. We're excited to see the students back in the hallways and we have a new principal and we're excited to welcome her and yeah. create a great central community this it's year. It's your first year at the school, but you actually graduated from that school and your kids go to the school. Yes, I hear. yes, I am a proud alumni of the class of 1997. Um, in fact, my mother and my sister are also alums and wow. several of my family members. And yes, my daughter is a graduating senior <laughs> and uh, I have a son who will be a freshman. That's really cool. And mom's the principal. What's that dynamic like? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, um, my daughter actually told me I should apply. And my son, you know, he's he's so funny. Um, we had freshman uh, orientation or new okay. student orientation last week. And um, he said after it was all over, he said, Mom, you know, I was a little worried at first with, you know, you being the principal, but that was a good speech you gave. And <laughs> he's you, proud of you. Yeah, he said, you might know what you're doing. And I said, gee, thanks, you know. <laughs> such Get a, a little credit from the kids. High praise. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's an interesting day. You know, the past couple of school years can be described as rocky at times, especially early on in the pandemic. And these summers have often been the planning. What is protocols gonna be like for COVID-19? Are we going to be do some, doing some virtual learning? Um, so what can parents and students expect as they head into this school year, whether it be protocols or how the classroom is going to look for them? Well, you know, this has been such an up and down time. And so the best place to go for protocols is the district website. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can say is that we are um, following what the uh, uh, COVID rates are in Ramsey County, because sure. we're Ramsey County. So if our rates are high, then it's masks uh, are mandatory. Right now, I believe the rates are low or medium, yep. and so masks are optional. Yep. But if they go, go up, we do want to make sure that we're protecting our, our staff and our students and, and that we can stay in school in person as long as possible because you know that's what we know is best for kids. And yeah. Stephanie, knowing that you're going to see those students, see their faces more often than not, and have that true classroom experience that I think people haven't had students for more than two years. What does that mean to you to have that interaction? I am really excited to start this year that way. Um, when we had ninth grade orientation, a uh, new student orientation on Thursday, it was so energizing and exciting. Students were coming in. They were excited, but you know, they were ninth graders. They're trying to play it cool. <laughs> they didn't want to be always. too excited. They were a few steps ahead of mom and dad. And um, you could just tell that it felt fresh and kind of new and and we'll get back to collaborative learning again which is a way that i love to teach and and that'll come back in the classroom and and i look forward to it I it's going to be great we're not surprised to hear that because we talked with a bunch of students today and <laughs> maybe they weren't playing it cool for us maybe a little bit because they were on camera they did but not play it they cool. are looking no. forward to it here learning in class study online is hard yeah, I think it's pretty cool getting to go back to school, see my friends, and do all the fun stuff. I enjoy that more than distance learning. I, it was kind of a struggle for me being uh, on the computer. And I think I just, I got more focused. And so we know the pandemic was hard on students and it even hurt them academically. The test scores uh, just came out in the 2021-2022 MCA scores were an improvement from that first year of COVID, 2020-2021, but they're still not to those 2019 levels. So you're also dealing with this very real learning gap. How do you get back on track after uh, such an interruption? 
I think we still start with relationships. You know, they say students don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm -hmm. uh, and that social, emotional learning component is so important. And so I always tell staff, we're gonna go slow to go fast. We're gonna work on building relationships, getting to know each other, and getting back to having fun at school so that students know that learning is fun. Um, I'm really excited about our new eight over two scheduling. Okay. Um, so all uh, secondary schools across the district have um, much longer class periods than they did before. And so having that longer class period allows um, students and staff to really build relationships. And then, you know, the learning comes. Great. Um, thank you so much for being here. We have a link uh, to Thursday's virtual hiring fair on our website. We know that's still website. important for a lot of districts. There are still some open positions, right? Mm -hmm. From what's open right now at your school? Do you um, we have a lot of teaching assistant okay. positions open. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, still looking to hire <laughs> yeah. at uh, different Join up. schools. Whether so. it's St. Paul Public Schools or around, if you have an interest in uh, molding minds for the future, I think they have a position for you. All right, thank you both great. ladies so thank much for so joining much. us. Thank you so much. Good luck for Thank the first you. day tomorrow. Thanks for being here. All right.